More than 500 migrants from Syria are believed to have drowned earlier this week after their ship crashed in the Aegean Sea off the coast of Greece. Key points The United Nations Migration Agency says the crash could be the second highest migrant shipwreck in recent years. The United Nations Migration Agency said the accident could be the second most recent migrant shipwreck in recent years. Many of survivors were transported the port of Kalamata, Greece where boat is estimated to carry up 750 people the Greek Coast Guard said the search and rescue operation will continue beyond the standard 72 hours. A Syrian man met his brother in tears among survivors on Friday. 18-year-old Fedi was reunited with his brother Mohammed, who had traveled from Italy to meet him. Brothers Mohammed and Feder reunite at the Greek port of Kalamata. Abdo Shiki, 18, traveled Kalamata, where most of survivors had moved, to find out what had happened the five family members on boat. On Friday, she discovered that only her younger brother Ali and another relative had survived. He managed to talk to Ali on the phone, who had moved a camp near Athens. Ali told me he jumped off the ship when the others couldn't, Mr. Shiki said. They were holding onto the boat while it was rocking. Nine men from Egypt, ages 20 to 40, were arrested on Friday and charged with people involved in smuggling in a criminal enterprise. The UN Immigration Agency IOM said the accident could be the second largest migrant shipwreck in recent years. A bus to transfer survivors of the shipwreck board to Port of Kalamata. UN Human Rights Office spokesman Jeremy Lawrence said many women and children were among the missing. The survivors were men and women from Egypt, Pakistan, Syria and the Palestinian territories. 27 of the survivors were hospitalized, health officials said. Wires ABC.